Dear colleagues, women political leaders, distinguished guests, it's my honor to address you today on behalf of the European Parliament as chair of its Committee on Women's Rights and Gender Equality and as a feminist. I very much welcome the possibility of the women political leaders to meet, to network and to discuss the common challenges and ways of achieving progress. We in the European Parliament are very committed to achieving gender equality and empowering women and girls. Empowering women and girls means providing them with the necessary tools uh, to become economically independent, to be represented equally across society and to play an equal role in all spheres of life. In short, for gender equality, it is crucial to partake in all decisions, especially those having an impact on our lives. And we already see that when it, uh, this is done, everyone profits from it. The European Parliament therefore repeatedly called for ensuring full access of women to all levels and in all areas of life and for actively promoting gender, balanced and equal representation at all levels of decision making. Here we for example keep on putting pressure on the Council of the European Union to unblock the Women on Boards Directive and to ask for the introduction of gender balance requirements in electoral laws. And we lead by example. By now, in the European Parliament, nearly 40% of the parliamentarians are women. We make sure that these women are represented in all decision-making bodies and the European Parliament recently adopted an ambitious gender action plan and roadmap which should allow for further progress towards achieving full equality. An important part of these efforts is making sure women can participate without harassment. We have implemented many measures already, but more has to be done in order for uh, a new normal to be created. Uh, we have to address the remaining gaps and to set an example. And therefore, we as the Committee on Women's Rights and Gender Equality are asking for mandatory anti-harassment training for all MEPs and better protection of those affected by harassment of any kind. Yet, it is but part of the picture. How many women are dissuaded from public life or even forced out due to open yet often anonymous threats offline, online, usually by men solely because they are women who dare using their voice? We need better and enforced rules against online harassment. We need better and enforced action by companies providing the online platforms. And therefore, the European Parliament is working on two legislative own initiative reports. One requests the European Commission to add gender-based violence as a new area of serious crime with cross-border dimension. And the other proposes a directive combating gender-based violence at European Union level, including cyber violence and the main points of the Istanbul Convention. All these measures have uh, one co common goal, make it possible for women to actively participate in public life without the fear of harassment or violence. And they also will encourage them to take part actively in decision-making processes. This is crucial in order to achieve the goal for a better life for everyone. I'm glad that we can debate these issues in this summit, bringing together so many great, fantastic women. And I'm looking forward to further discussions and cooperation with you.